Hello everyone, welcome back to this new build of mine. As you've noticed, I've been on a longer period of not posting anything. I've been busy on the different uh, official PvE servers that I play on. But uh, now I'm back and I have this fun build to share with you guys. As is normal, I will show you a bit of the special things that is going on here. I will also go back in time and look at this when it was half done. Just for you guys to see some of the inner workings of this build. There is a lot of stuff going on actually. That is kind of interesting. Um, first and foremost, this whole hull is made up by a tilted piece in the middle here. As you can see here on the sides that these are walls. And obviously these shields with in quotation marks are war drums that has been carefully positioned inside of the hull in order to give this appearance. All in all it turned out kind of nice. It's built on a raft but it's not a normal raft. It's a mod called Humongous Rafts. Link in the description if you want to try it out. The thing that you need it for is that normal rafts have a build limitation vertically so you cannot make the masts or sails if you use a normal raft. So unfortunately we have to go with a mod there. Other than that everything here is vanilla even though no clip is active because it's really hard to make this type of builds especially in the more intricate parts like the dragon head up front if you don't have no clip active. I chose to paint this very minimal. There's some stuff that is brown, some stuff that is white. And of course the sail is painted, it's uh, adobe walls that are painted, but other than that I kept it to a minimum. One of the interesting thing that I've been trying to hide is that if you want to make this sail like this, you need to have structural support for these things. So then you need to have foundations somewhere, and I've hidden them far below the surface, as you can see. So this pillar that goes down here, and then it contains uh, foundations to follow with the ship as it as, as it sails. But those keep the sail parts up. If they weren't there, I cannot build that far out as I wanted to. There is a lot of tilted stuff going on on this build. Not only the hull, as I mentioned before, but also these parts here are several tilts that makes this curve up here, so you can get this dragon tail look like. In the same way in front, there are several tilted operations that needs to be done in order to get this working. This old section of the floor is actually tilted one degree up. I will show you uh, when we go through the halfway build. It's due to the fact that you can only get fence foundations on two sides of a pillar when you do these rafts builds. And in order for them to be the correct sides that you want, you need to have a certain tilt of the original pillar where you put the fence foundation on. So it was kind of tricky. Uh, it was a long brainstorm with Captain Fat Dog in order to sort that one out, but we got there in the end. So thanks a lot to Captain Fat Dog for helping me out there. Also on the previous boats I've done, I've never made a sail. Because I always thought it was too stale in order if it was just straight. But here I managed to get a curve on the sail. It looks much more natural, so I went with the sail this time. It's these fence supports up here that are free, free placed in order to get this curvature of the sail to make it look more natural. And obvious, since this is on a raft, you can drive it. This is on a local host, so there's no re real lag when I do drive it. All the creatures stay on it, no problem there either. I should also mention that I'm on a fairly new map that is under construction at the moment. This is called Tiamat. And this build came about when I was testing this map out. I just really liked the way that water looked here. This water texture, it looks 
lot of different to normal arc and there's a lot of different assets and textures going on in this world so it makes it look non-art which I like so I kind of th thought that it would be fun to make some kind of ship to make use of these beautiful water textures so you can drive around on this so hence I did that it looks really promising I like what uh, the map makers have done so far I'll drop a link in the description to the mod or to the map so you can check it out yourself. See, it's a work in progress as far as I understand. So all of this that you see in the distance is not done yet. But you can still play on it. It has been released in the first iteration. Alright. We're back in time. This is when I was halfway done. Not really halfway done, but half of the ship has been done. You can see there are no shields on the sides. There's not many details and this looks wrong. I redesigned this part later and there's no front of the ship either. But I wanted to, to show you guys a little bit of how this was done. So you can see here this pillar here serves as the main base for the tilted hull. Which goes underneath which you can snap foundations to. And these foundations you can then add a very simple pattern too, so you have triangle, roof, triangle, which you then can snap walls to, which essentially makes up all of the ship. Then in order to get it to taper off towards the front and the back, you can do a 13 degree angle with the help of these fence foundations and a triangle ceiling. And then you need to find another snap point horizontally for the new foundations that will support the angled part of the hull right here. The problem is, like I said before, is that depending on your luck, uh, you might not get the snap points you want for the fence foundations on the pillars. There you can put a fence foundation. On this side you cannot do that. On this side you cannot do that. And on this side you can. So two of the four sides you can snap fence foundations horizontally or vertically. Um, and it all depends on the angle of which this original pillar is put. So on these ones, I could not previously put them here. So I had to, with the help of Captain Fat Dog, angle this slightly so you can see that this floor, this wooden foundation is slightly angled upwards towards that direction, which allows me to make this one slightly upwards which gave me the correct angle which allowed me to put the fence foundations down yeah it's not easy and arc sometimes is very tricky when it comes to more advanced building but if you have patience it usually sorts itself out in the end i'll dive down here so you can see the hull structure underneath here you can see the tilted foundations that hold the main hull in place and here is the rest of the hull in its structure you can take a look at this part where it's actually more built here you can see the first angle and here is the second angle which leads up to the back of the boat in this case but it's the exact same pattern in the front in the back on this ship at this point I've done several ships in Ark. This one was probably the hardest since it has very organic angles and slopes and the dragon head was not easy to get realistic due to the scale. But um, fortunately I've learned more advanced techniques in terms of rotating and tilting objects and, and, and things to allow me to make it plausibly look like a viking ship at least so i'm happy with the end result anyway thank you everyone for watching it has been a fun build video to do i'm looking forward to arc genesis when that comes to make some more building videos for you guys until the next one have a good one see ya